this is Hunt Clan back with another Minecraft Let's Play video. This is the 19th episode of my Minecraft Better Than Adventure Let's Play series, and it's been a long time. This is the first episode of 2024. I'm excited for this year. I hope you guys are. I haven't been uploading a whole lot recently. I've been taking a break from uh, working on uh, making content and stuff, but I am hopefully back. So in today's episode, it's currently nighttime, so I guess tonight's episode. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to be adding anyone to the Shoutout Museum. I don't know. I I'm going to take a little break from adding people to the Shoutout Museum for now. And I'll come back to it later. But one thing I want to do is I got a comment. Uh, let me see who's it from. Isopods Jim left an awesome comment saying that I should put a roof over it. This was actually kind of an old comment. So sorry for just now getting to it. Uh, so I should put a roof over the Shoutout Museum so that it doesn't get like messed up from weather and stuff. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that at some point soon. But for today's episode... I have something very special in mind that I don't think I've ever even mentioned. I don't remember, to be honest. I may have mentioned it at some point. But back in the panic room, which we haven't been in, and I actually kind of forgot about. I'm going to be completely honest. I haven't actually put anything in the fridge. And all of this is kind of empty. I think I'm going to put beds and stuff here. But in here, or near here, I'm thinking maybe put a hatch over here, or just somehow connected to this. I want to have a lavatory for research on future updates for Better Than Adventure, because I know there's like a pre-release, which I haven't really messed around with, but I don't want to uh, move over to it, because I don't know if I'll lose any uh, content from this world, so I'm trying to stay away from that for now, uh, <laughs> to clean up William's <laughs> Merry Christmas sign. It's been a little bit, I haven't been on the world since the last episode, but I want to make a laboratory, so let's go and get some materials. I have some stuff on me, this was already in my inventory from last time. Uh, I have some wood. I have a couple colored wools. Uh, that's really about it, though. Do I have any more? It doesn't look like I have much wood there. Maybe I have some down in my storage down here, because I know I did move my wood down here, if I remember right. It's been a little while since I played on the world. Let's see. I think it's in here. Yes, but I don't have very much. Um, hmm. I'll take the fences in case we need those for something. I don't need the saddle. Uh, because I don't have a pig to ride right now. Uh, I'm not going to eat anything out of there. Hmm, I could use cobbled basalt. Uh, could use cobblestone. You know, you can never have too much cobblestone, so I'll take a little bit of this with me. Uh, first, before I make this laboratory, I'm going to sleep because... Well, actually, you know what? I think we're probably good to just work on it anyway. Because it's not like... We're in a very vulnerable area, so it's not like monsters can really get to us. So here's the mine. I haven't really showcased this very much. Jeez Louise. Okay, we have a goobers already out tonight. Jeez. Where'd it go? Okay, we're good. Jeez, that was scary. Anyway, so this is the bottom of my panic room. It's kind of not very hidden. So if William the Pumpkin ever comes down here, he will probably see it, which is kind of a problem. But I have like a little gap back here and I thought, what if I made the laboratory in here and you went down like a hatch? Because I, I wanted to keep it all at the same level, but there's just not room in this hill to continue growing. So I think I have to move it downwards. So what I'm going to do is uh, extend this underneath the, sh the panic room. And so the panic room will function both as a panic room and a, la a secret laboratory entrance. So, so one thing I need you guys to do is not tell William that we have a laboratory down here because then he'll figure it out. So try and keep it secret in the comments so that William doesn't uh, know that I have a laboratory in some sort of uh, panic room so that he can't get me if he ever manages to get into my house. Well, I guess he did manage it that one time. He got in and activated the alarm when when me and, uh, was it, was it, I think it was Molly. I don't remember if it was Pete or Molly when we were out at the Sheep Island. That was a little bit stressful, but that's in the past now, so. And it seems like William isn't all bad because he did leave a nice Christmas present and a nice Christmas note last Christmas, which is nice. But... I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't. I just. I don't want to take risks. So I'm gonna keep try and keep this secret for now until I can confirm that William isn't bad, because it seems that I don't know if he has bad intentions or or not. But he he the, he doesn't seem trustable. If that makes sense, at least not yet. 
with the stuff he's done, like turning my world to plastic back in episode six. That was quite an adventure. <laughs> anyway, what I think I'm going to do here is kind of grow this out. Apparently there's like a cave thing there or gap, but I want to keep the walls primarily stone because that just is kind of easier to be completely honest. But I will fill in little bits and pieces with like designs on the walls and I need to fill this in the rest of the way with wood so the whole roof is wood so it actually looks okay. And I'm going to wall off so it's not in open to my like open to my mind if that makes sense because I want this to still be at least have security because it may not be very hidden but if it has security it will be hard for William to get into it and that's really what matters. If William can't get in then it's safe so yeah. Anyway, this is kind of what I'm thinking. Although this dirt over here is kind of, kind of weird. I don't have any plain stone to replace that right now. But what I'm gonna do, actually, you know what? I just got an idea. How about we do this? Make this cobblestone. Hmm. Maybe like that. It's not quite centered. Okay, let's just do that then. And then we can take wood and we can like make the wood come down like this, and then I do have three stairs, that's perfect. And then the stairwell can be right here, and I do need to make some sort of door system though, but this is going to be the laboratory for now. I'll get st I'll get some stone in the, f in the future and hopefully fix that. But here's the laboratory for now, I'm trying to think. It is kind of small, but I have something in mind that I want to make, and I want to make a multi-dimensional, like, time machine. Maybe not time machine, but some sort of machine that can put me to other dimensions that aren't, like, the nether or the end, but, like, other universes, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. It'll just kind of have to go along as, like, it'll explain itself as I go, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I want to have that in here, and William cannot have access to that because that is very powerful. And knowing William, he'll probably just use it for his own benefit and do something to mess with my world again. Maybe turn everything to permanent plastic. I don't know, but I don't want William getting his hands on it because that just sounds like a recipe for disaster. <laughs> but what I want to do now is get a good old, um, what's it called? Like a airlock. So I'm going to actually see... I'm feeling lazy. I don't really want to chop down trees. I'm going to see if Pete or Molly have wood <laughs> in their rooms because I really don't want to go cut a bunch of trees down. But worst comes to worst, we can cut trees down. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Pete is a lifesaver. <laughs> oh, I saw a name? Oh, it's just the fluffs. Man, that, that scared me for a second. I forgot to mention, uh, Pete and Molly are not going to be in this episode. It's just, just me today. So that's kind of sad, but it's fine. Okay, let's see if Molly has any extra wood. Okay, it doesn't look like Molly has much of anything. Oh, okay. Molly does have slabs. We'll take the slabs. I know that um, Molly and Pete totally don't mind if I take things, but I'm going to leave most of this for Molly. Although, if I ever need dirt, I know where to look because Molly has a ton of it. <laughs> anyway, uh, where am I going? I need to go over here. I almost Sometimes I get lost in my own house because it's so big that I just like lose track of where I am. <laughs> That's the one downside to having such a big epic house. But anyway, let's get some doors going. Only two. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I don't want to have three doors because that would be kind of ugly. So what if I do like a door like there? And then I can make these come out and have it be kind of like an airlock, if that makes sense. Uh, first, I probably want to fill this in so mobs don't spawn in that little gap. But I want to have like, yeah, this this looks like it'll work. It'll be like a little airlock. So this will have this door. Okay, that looks a little bit weird. <laughs> and that just breaks straight into there. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. That'll work. And then that's not the most secure airlock though. I'll pro I think I'll put an iron door here in the future. I currently don't want to smell all the iron at the moment. But in the future, I'm going to put an iron door there. For now, I'm just going to have to hope that the wooden lock can keep uh, William out because that would be a bummer if he got in here. But at the moment, I guess it's not a huge deal because there's nothing in here for him to take or turn it to a disaster. <laughs> so now what we need to do 
is go into the panic room and make a secret entrance. Well, I guess it's not so secret because the panic room in itself is secret, so it's not like I need to have another secret door. Although you can never be too cautious, but I'm thinking right here might actually work. I could do redstone in the future when I'm not as broke. Hmm, okay, maybe that wouldn't work because it looks like that goes back a little bit. So we could, what if we have a door here? You know what? That might do it. That might do it. As long as that... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's do that then. Let's hope I don't take damage here. Okay, I'm good. Do I have ladders? I don't. I must have left them in my house. Let's go to my storage real quick and see. This, it's specifically this door right here that I always forget I have. But it gives me quick and easy access to my storage. Uh, two ladders. I don't think that's going to be enough. But I do think that was it molly i can't remember if it was molly or pete i literally just looked but i already forget if it was molly or pete who had ladders okay it must have been pete unless unless my mind is playing tricks on me and neither of them had ladders that would be quite awkward but if that's the case i'll just have to craft some i am low on wood though but i'm fairly certain pete had ladders he didn't okay must have just been my mind playing tricks on me and you know what i just remembered that i forgot to get my breakfast i'm just gonna skip it for today i'm not very hungry right now so I'm not going to bother with breakfast. Uh, I guess I did start the episode in the middle of the night, though. <laughs> anyway, let's come up here. Actually, I guess we can go in through here. I don't have to en enter through the the panic room. Okay, so I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six ladders. Oh, man. Okay. Let's get to crafting, then. I'm going to need a lot of sticks. How many does this give? Two. Okay. So four, five, six. I just need one more set of ladders and I'll be set. Here we go. Bop, 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 bop. Boom. Entrance into the laboratory is now complete. I may end up having to move it to like one of these side walls because I plan on pushing this back more. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So now we have direct access to the laboratory from here. And you know what? I just realized... <laughs> I don't even have to have this here because <laughs> because there's a secret entrance to the <laughs> to the laboratory from the inside of the panic room. So you know what? That's just gonna be a little stage. We can um, maybe put like storage up here or something. I don't know, but <laughs> I can't believe I did that. That's such a brain fart. <laughs> anyway, this was a shorter episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe in the next episode. Actually, you know what? You know what? This episode hasn't been too long, so we're going to keep it going. Let's go get some redstone and actually build up this multi-dimensional... I'm just going to call it multi-dimensional time machine. It's technically... I don't think it's going to be a time machine. We'll just have to see what it turns into. But let's see how much redstone I have. Oh, okay. I have a lot of redstone. <laughs> uh, how about... Uh, I'm going to put my lapis there. Hmm. I'm going to take 16 redstone with me because I don't know how much it's going to require. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to need a redstone block for this. So I may need more. Seven actually might be enough. Whoa! Redstone blocks look so weird and, and better than adventure. That's so strange. Anyway, uh, do I have a place to put this flower? Or the rose? Because I don't need a rose right now. I don't need string on me. I want to try and like have as much storage and inventory mesh blocks we may need some of these and we may need chain link fences i'm not sure if we will or not and i think we're gonna need stone bricks let me think is there anything else that we need let's take a actually i'm gonna hmm take a door in case we need it you can never have too many doors um is there anything else uh let's let's do a quick glance of everything i have hmm I don't think so. Actually, there's one thing, but I can craft it, and that's going to be a lever. That is the wrong recipe. I don't remember if I already had levers, but I'm just not going to worry about it. Okay. Oh! Ah. The goobers are really out to fight today. <laughs> I didn't... Wait, this is the wrong door. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, let's drop down into here. And then let's drop down into the lavatory. And now let's make this multi-dimensional time machine, because since I don't need a door here, I don't know what I was thinking. 
I can make the multi-dimensional time machine now because uh, William will have no idea that this laboratory even exists. He'll just think that this is just like a w support wall to hold up my mine or something. Anyway, let's not delay anymore. Let's move these torches onto the walls so we have some floor space to work with. And let's build this multi-dimensional machine. Hmm. Where do I want to put it? Do I want to put... I think I want to put it right here. It has to be big enough to fit me inside of it. Actually, you know what? Hmm. This isn't quite even. How about... Let's just put it right here at this wall. It's gonna, it's gonna, this is where I'm going to stand, it's going to be like right here. Or right here, there we go. <laughs> um, I don't think I need too many of these blocks. Um, actually, if I remember right, to make a multi-dimensional time machine, these have to be mesh, but back here is gonna need to be uh, just the brick. And then we need to take the redstone block and we need to put it right there on top, just like that. And then we have to, if I can find it, where did I, redstone, here we go. And you take your redstone, and you put it on top of the mesh, and it should power just like that, yes, okay, it's working. And now, uh, actually I am going to need more dust, because I forgot that I'm going to need the most required thing, which is a control panel. So the way that this t uh, machine is going to work, is we're going to have P or Molly, be at the control panel and activate it for me because when I'm in here I can't activate the machine so I don't I don't I don't want to make like a manual button to activate it for like where I activate it from the inside because that could be really dangerous so I'm gonna have a control panel out here but I just thought if I'm going to have a control panel I'm going to need to give myself a little bit more room to work with so let's make this counter space like that and now the control panel will only consist of two levers really one's gonna be here One's going to be here. And this redstone dust will need to come down and uh, through here so this lever can power it. We have another one there. Yep. Perfect. So those are both going to be powered by the different levers. And one thing that I'd also need is a piston. If I can remember how to craft a piston, I'd never remember how to do that. And the guidebook is not the most helpful when it comes to that kind of stuff, currently at least. I think in the next Better Than Adventure update, they're going to <laughs> update the guidebook, <laughs> which will be very nice. I don't need to go this way. I can go into my, or in through my door down here. But let's see if I can figure it. I may need to Google, or figure it out. I may need to Google <laughs> how to make a piston. I can't believe I forgot how to do this. If I remember right, it's wood, cobblestone, redstone, and iron. I think it takes three iron though. I don't remember. Let's see. If I remember right, it's like this. Let me do that. Is it wood on top? No. Iron and wood? No. Alright. I'm going to Google this real quick. Okay. Quick Google search later. Um, I think it's this. Uh, wait, no. I don't need that. And then I do that. Or is it other way around? There we go. Piston. Now, I just need to... Do I have slime? That's the other question, because I need to be a sticky piston. Hmm. Well, there is one way I could do it not as a sticky piston. But that will only work... Okay, I don't think... I've, I really thought I had slime balls, but apparently I don't. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to have to go with gravel. Gravel obeys gravity in Better Than Adventure, correct? Let's see. Yes, okay. Then that will act as our piston door, because... It won't need to stick. This is going to be the... Oh, wait. I don't, I don't go that way. Jeez Louise. This is going to be the actual, like, doorway so that I get closed in by the control panel. So I want to put the piston... I think two down. Yes, two down. Piston is going to want to go right here. Um, why can't I pick up this, this stone? <laughs> there we go. That was weird. You know what, I'm gonna make all this, just to make it look better. This isn't required for the actual machine. I'm gonna just turn all this into, into that. Okay, so now I wanna put the gravel there. Actually, I'm gonna need this open because I need to get be able to get to that piston. So this is all gonna be wiring. And I'm gonna to need to make myself a way out as well. This is all gonna be the wiring. So now I need to get my, wait, how much redstone do I have? I only have two. Okay, I'm gonna to have to go back to my storage room. <laughs> this is gonna take forever to make. We have to go back to my storage room, 
and get myself some more redstone. I know I have the redstone, though, at least. Ow, that hurt. I know I have the redstone. It should be in here, yes. So let's give myself a decent amount. And I'm going to need another lever as well to actually activate the piston door. Well, actually, I might not need another lever, but I'm going to have it just in case I can't figure out the wiring for this because I'm not very good at redstone. That's one thing I very openly admit to. I suck at redstone. But this should be able to come around like so. So we should be able to do... Actually, I don't want it to go up there yet. I want it to come round and under here. Yes. Like this. Does that activate it? No. But if I move a lever down here, that does. Yeah, and then the gravity from that will make it fall back down. And now I can just cover it up. And there we go. This floor looks absolutely awful, but, you know, it's totally fine. We'll just ignore the fact that this floor is cobblestone. <laughs> Maybe I'll, like, I'll, like, layer the outer wall with the cobblestone or something. But there we go. So these are going to be the buttons to actually activate a machine. Once I'm inside, Pete's going to close the door so that it's perfectly safe. So that it doesn't... So I can't, like, accidentally fall out of it and be, like, half warped. That would hurt. So I'm not going to do that. Anyway, there we go. There's the multi-dimensional time machine. Um, maybe I should have like a warning. Uh, stay back. There we go. Let's do that. Just to just to warn Pete and Molly in case they come by while we're gone, <laughs> to not go into this thing and mess with it. <laughs> because yeah, we don't we don't want them being stuck in another dimension and not being able to get back and not knowing how the machine works. But let's light this place up a little better. And now I think we're probably good to end the episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a comment saying your favorite part of the episode. Give me ideas down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one.